Teemo. Man, Caitlyn's pretty awesome. <laughs> Just the animations, everything. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Caitlyn Teemo. I know Caitlyn Teemo is pretty popular right now. Probably seen some other versions of Caitlyn Teemo. This is one that I put together myself trying out these uh, two champions and this champion pairing where we're going to be trying to give our opponent a lot of traps. Um, got a really low curve. Aloof Travelers is the top end of my curve in this deck. Maybe I should have Karina in there. Karina's looked pretty good. But I wanted to keep it really low because I wanted us to you know, draw extra cards with like Hexcore Foundry and be able to play all of our cards and uh, you know, be able to win like the early game. I think that's the important part in a deck like this. So we're going to have all of our Brittle Steels and Elixir, Elixir of Irons, um, Troll Chance, all that kind of stuff to help us win combat, help us protect our Starlet Seer, Caitlyn, Puff Cat Peddler, um, Sting Officer, all of that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, pretty excited about this one. Pretty excited. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Caitlyn Teemo. Let's go and try the new Teemo deck. So we're going to go play five games over in Ranked. Yixt, what's up Yixt? How's it going? Oh no, I'm playing against Draven Sion. <laughs> we may be playing against this, our same deck. That's definitely possible. Um, this is a good hand though. I'm going to keep it. Peddler with some spells. We got a Prismatic deck here. I was actually pretty close to like making the whole deck Prismatic before we started playing, and so it was like, why not? Went ahead and went ahead and did that. How is Poppy and Tristana doing? I'm not sure actually. I, ha I haven't played against either Poppy nor Tristana so far. So I was planning on Thermogenic Beam, the Risen Rider, but drawing the Starlet Seer, went ahead and got that thing in play. Okay, so they're not playing the ex they're not playing my deck list. They have Boom Baboon. I did not have Boom Baboon. So that's different. Um, do I want to take seven? And get set up? I think I do. Have a mushroom. Have three. I think I want to get everything set up. Caitlyn. Me? I was planning on playing the Foundry, but now Caitlyn. Oh, Yix, do you have, you've been doing really well with Tristana Poppy. Feel free. Yeah, send me your, your list there, Yix. I, I have been wanting... You know, like I do want to play Tristana Poppy. So if you have a deck list that's working out really well. You can send it on over to me and I'll take a look at it. Let's do this. Okay, sounds like they want to do this. We're going to first Brittle Steel you. Second block with you. Third block block. Fourth plus two minus two. An auspicious season. I still have one flash freeze if they go like whirling death somewhere. Predictable. This would be a good winter. Hopefully that's all they have. Hopefully they don't have something else that kills us. Now we're cooking. Okay. The rest of survival skills that thing. I think we did a pretty good job. Got nine puff caps. Four flash bombs. Let's investigate. Let's investigate. Survival skill is pretty good. Pretty good. That's going to take up this flash freeze that I did not want to use right now. I was playing three sur three survival skills in my version, but I actually never really drew survival skills. So of course we're going to be playing the foundry. We need a lot more cards. 
We are running out. They haven't gotten any of these flash bombs yet, have they? The flash bombs are supposed to be in the top 10 cards. They haven't drawn any flash bombs, surprisingly enough. Hopefully now they got eight flash bombs here. Hopefully they're going to be drawing these flash bombs and just killing all these things with them. But also maybe they won't. There we go. Hmm. Okay. So I can play Caitlyn. Caitlyn will be leveled up. What am I worried about? Like a whirling death? Because Caitlyn's Strike will be doing Nexus damage equal to the number of traps we activated this round, which was five. So this this just strikes at all. It does five to the Nexus. That's healthy. Oh, you draw some more guards. Yes, please. Get some more traps. Oh, do one to the other one. All right, sounds scary as always. We'll be able to kill this. So that's game, right? Yep, that looks like game. Because then six elusive puts them down to six. This just strikes and does seven to them. So that'll be game. GGs. Level up Caitlyn. All right, want to know. I faced a ton of elusives with Scion and did real well. You know, like, you got to have, like, the, you know, you have the zero mana card that makes your two elusives. We faced, I faced a lot of elusives, and I think three of the five decks that I, that I played against were playing a good amount of elusives. All right, Lulu Zed. Brittle Steel, very good against Lulu Zed. Um, this is slow. We need more setup and more removal. I kind of keep the foundry, but not. I think we have to send it back. Do you think that these three decks are better than the better than the past meta decks? Probably not. No. Um, the past meta decks, you know, took had like weeks of you know kind of tuning like fine tuning and everything to put together I don't feel like these decks have had that yet All right, I think I'm just going to be taking the two maybe just take those and mm, I guess I could have played the sting officer I was thinking like going pop cap peddler and get that started maybe I should have done the sting officer yeah I should have played sting officer Smart, smart. Good play. Because that means I don't get to... My plan, of course, was Brittle Steel. Um, now we don't get to do that. We just take the trades. I mean, I guess we just take the trades. I mean, that is a champion. Alright, so I... I should have just simply played the Sting Offices. Oh, took two for two trade. Guard of a champion. Man, I hate how much mana this cost me. But at least we're killing champions, I guess. I 
without a sound. Tough places bring tough people. Everything's better with company. Says you. All right, so at least no sharp sight. Where are you going? Wow, a ghost. This one's trouble. Yuck. Caitlyn! Alright, we got a champion. Our first champion. Alright, think about just entombing that. In two rounds, it's gonna come back with a barrier, though, if I entomb it. News from the Undercity Shift, Detective Zane? It's all in the report, Sheriff. Should pay off nicely. Turning yourself in? All right, come on, traps. On foot. I wouldn't mind a block. I think I got some stuff to handle a block. Okay, so they got a lot of flash bombs over there now. Hmm. Eight mana? So, Entomb costs six. Or Fury of the North? If I Fury of the North... Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's just let that happen. Alright, let's just go this route, actually. It's me going down to four. Now they have eight flash bombs. No trap still. Nice. Good draw, good draw. I've got your back. Closing in on the mark. Turning yourself in. Down to two. Seeing if they were, you know, obviously if they had Pump Spell, I had Frostbite. Alright, so many Flash Bombs. Yeah, so they, they have to... They can't, they can't play any units right here, because then Flash Bombs just kill the units. So they have to wait. Okay, good. We, they only drew one Flash Bomb. Very nice. Um, yep, we still have mana to play all this stuff no matter what. You're covered. They won't like this. Off we go. Off we go. Blessed by snow and stars. Let's not ruffle our feathers. Just not gonna block with Caitlyn. Even though we could do like the same thing and Thread and creating some more traps. Timo! Man, Caitlyn's pretty awesome. <laughs> just the animations, everything. Alright, well, let's just open attack. There we go, that's 10. Had that basically in hand the whole time. I know I went down to two, but went down by two by choice. A satisfactory outcome. We had that all the way, so two and oh. Our Scion deck was awesome. You missed the Scion deck, but it was awesome. We got Caitlyn Senna. Love it. Opponent trying out some new stuff. Very cool. I'm gonna keep my I'm gonna keep this hand. We got our, our early units to play, then we got the foundry to back them up. 
Assuming Caitlyn Senna is going to be a control deck with all the darkness and stuff, like they're going to have a lot of cards in hand anyway, and so the Foundry is going to help us out more than it will help them, is my assumption. Yeah, I haven't been able to play too much quite yet. We gotta go Starless here. Like, the officer is 100% dead, right? We gotta go Starless here. Like, they're gonna go hard or whatever, this officer. Yeah, we're Mystic Shot. So, at least we're making them use two cards, I guess. But yeah, they are a go hard deck. Hmm. I guess. Foundry v Go Hard may not be the best thing for me to see. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Well, what have we here? Manners. Wow. They grow up so fast. That's why we play three brittle seals. But we haven't drawn any other spells. Boom, ba boom. Hey, people. No. Passing the round. I kind of feel like them passing the round. Like, so I feel like this was a removal spell that could kill the Sting Officer. But since they were passing the round, could it possibly be Withering Whale? Also, I should probably just take the pass, right? Even though I want to play one of these things. I should probably just take the pass so we don't just get attacked. Caitlyn. We see through all. Yeah, my yep, my opponent does have go hard. For the dead, I bring rest. Mystic shot. Yep, yep. Alright, so that's two mystic shots down. Control chant draw. An auspicious season. Which one am I playing? Caitlin or Foundry? They definitely want to play darkness and then attack and create another darkness. And if that's the stuff that happens. Pot on the trail. I think I will play Caitlyn. Make the hurt your weapon. My pretty. Notify patrol to close in on this location. We'll What's up, Dan? A nice welcome. It's going great. Senna Vagar did good. It did good. It was you know, we played really long games. They were close. They were difficult to play. Um, you know, a couple of things here and there went wrong for us, but I think that the deck did look impressive. I think the two three was not very far away from a four one much at all. Man, that's going to level up Senna. There's no shortage of possibilities, but there's only blessed by snow. So that basically means no Teemo this round. So I just don't want the Senna to level up. No, of course I I made I made the deck. I I make all these decks. I'm not using other people's no. versions. I make my own decks here, Dan. Yeah, so that's going to level up Senna. So Senna now turns into a 3-5, so it could kill Caitlyn. Um, so we're going to have to flash freeze Senna. Just to keep Caitlyn alive. Give them some flash bombs. 
light. We are the dark. We are alive. I don't love my chances here against the Senna. But we're drawing three new cards each round, which is going to be good for us. Because we need it, because they're going to have better card advantage than us. Good, I like that Mystic Shot. That's what I need to find you. I need to find something to deal with this Senna. Unfortunately, couldn't deal with it fast enough before it leveled up. If they have another one. Concentrated forgiveness. Alright, down to 11. We made it. Yay. But our stuff okay. did it. Okay, our Caitlyn's gonna be leveled up now. Okay, let's go to Teemo. Or the great her indoors. <laughs> Timo's at six. So playing this and then Mushroom Cloud is only eight. That's not gonna help Timo. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'll have what he's having. So one thing with having like the two foundries in play is I do only get to go four wide. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, we're fourteen. So close to having Teemo leveled up. I needed to play a spell to have Teemo leveled up. Oh, are they just gonna have enough Gohards, basically? I guess it is a problem for us. There are these Gohards. More for my collection. <laughs> Nami Soraka, okay. Delphinus asked for me to build a Nami Soraka deck for a donation deck. Will do. I'll write you down. Yeah, don't love my chances here against Go Hard. I guess Double Foundry is not so good against Go Hard. Not so good at all against Go Hard. There they go. Blessed by snow and stars. This would be a good winter. Alright, so that's a good amount. Of, you know, that's a lot of spells for both the Peddler and the Starlet Seer. Yeah, I thought a new Teemo level up was coming too. That's that's kind of that's really disappointing. They did not make a new Teemo level up. That's very disappointing. Luck, a thing. L, that's not ours. So they got us. GG's. Alright, so we learned that Hexcore Foundries versus Go Hard, not good for the Foundry deck. Shucks. Alright, Fizz Nami. This is the combination that we've talked about that is very popular right now. Bunch of good spells, but we need some units and stuff like that too. Alright, Zareth doing the donation deck for me to build a Zareth Swain deck. Alright, cool. I will try that. 
and thank you Yixt. This game might not work out for us. It does not look like it's going to work out for us. If we can draw, you know, something, some kind of unit, <laughs> you know, we got double troll chain elixir of iron. Well, it looks like we got Teemo. Let me just, let me just shoot this. Sting officer. Son taught me to never let my guard down. These flash bomb traps can be really important against this style of deck with smaller units. We want those traps in there to do damage to their. They're small units. And they're passing here. Guess I take the pass. I'm a little worried about Mega Rain. Like, I go Teemo, they go Mega Rain. On foot. Peddler, yay, that's good. Alright, so they're gonna have a lot more cards than I do. Looking for a hero for my hero. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Treasure! Treasure! Listen well, the waters speak through me. What did it say? Speak up, OJ! So just have to play one more spell, and then it will grant that plus one plus one, so that's why it's like. I'm saying like if I Mystic Shot that, it won't work so well. They're setting up their spells. There we go. Good job, Flash Bombs. Get some damage across. Do need to kill this fleet, Admiral. I guess trade Sting Officer for the Songstress, I suppose. But I definitely need to kill this this Admiral before they start playing other spells and granting more plus one plus ones. Never mind. Okay, so that did not work out very well for me. Alright, Caitlyn leveled up. I aim to win, and my aim is excellent. Hot on the trail. They're just going to be giving these things. Oh man, they're really going to be buffing these things up. This Fleet Admiral Shelly card. Pretty crazy good. Pretty crazy good. Okay, let's hopefully hit a good amount of these flash bombs. Draw on three cards. Maybe take out a Shelly. No. Wow. This fleet Admiral Shelly won this game by itself. It was quite impressive. Never afraid. 
Yep, that's over. That Shelly card, that card's a problem. <laughs> Just in general, that card is a problem. Every two spells, grant every other ally plus one plus one. That card is a problem. Which card? Um, that was. Uh, let's see. I don't. I don't know the name of that card. Okay, it costs five mana. That makes sense. Oh, I'm not even mulliganing. I guess I'm keeping this. <laughs> Sorry, I've been paying attention to the chat. I. Yeah. Fleet Admiral Shelley is the name of that card. That card is absurd. Fleet Admiral Shelley. Well, our hand's pretty good. So even though I didn't mulligan anything, I think our hand's very good. What wondrous discoveries await below? So we got Lulu Poppy. Okay. Miss, not by a long shot. Just repeatable Vanguard Bannerman. Um, you know, for just casting two spells with which of course with Bilgewater you can create so many zero and one cost spells all the time. And so just repeatable Vanguard Bannerman every two spells. That's kind of absurd. I think our Caitlyn Teemo deck is pretty good. I can't I can't speak for other people's Caitlyn Teemo decks. I think that this one that we have built here is pretty good. We've had uh, two games where we have played against people that are very good against Hexcore Foundry. That's the thing. We've had two opponents, one being a Go Hard, the other one that really super cheap Fizz deck with with wanting to draw all those very cheap spells. We we have we've had a couple of tough pairings with that, and so it kind of determines. It's kind of going to be what happens to the metagame. So if those kind of decks are dominant in the metagame, that's going to make Hexcore Foundry worse. It's you know. At the base here, we are a Hexcore Foundry deck, and so if we if we do run into people that are very good against Hexcore Foundry, that will be very bad for us. And that's what we've had. We've had two opponents that are very good against Foundry. Two decks that were not decks last format. I'll just go and shoot this uh, challenger. Basically, give the Starlet Seer the time to give another plus one plus one. They have some kind of elite in hand. Sting officer. This stone stackers has been clutch. It's just been eating up my flash bomb traps. More than one way to pick a pine cone. I'll show you. So basically, give everything quick attack this round. Notify patrol to close in on this location. We'll prepare them a nice welcome. So if they sharp sight the fleet feather tracker, they could attack with it, have a quick attack. But you know we have like these things you could save. But you know seeing this elusive is going to make them want to hold on to sharp sight to be able to block uh, defensively. This Caitlyn card back's pretty cool. <laughs> Every time! Stacking up on the stone stackers. Okay, plant two. Deal two to an enemy, plant two traps. Create a Caitlyn in your deck. It is fast speed. Okay, cool. Purify! Wow. Make way. That's. That's a card. That's a card. So Purify is permanent, so this will always be silenced. So even if I, you know, do something to save this, it will always be silenced. Oh, set. There's nothing a 
good jiggle can't fix. I want to kill the stone stackers. Hooray! Now they won't have the tough card for the traps. The flash bombs. Oh, that was a dumb idea. All right. So what my idea here was to do that and then thermogenic beam the Lulu, but if they do have sharp sight, then they just sharp sight the Lulu and then challenge. That was just a dumb idea. I just shouldn't have done that. I should have just simply thermogenic beam, but then I can't protect. So basically I can't protect against sharp sight either way. At least I wouldn't be able to unless I do that. All right. Yeah, that was unnecessary. So that, that's why I wanted I wanted to be able to do that and then do this. That's what I was thinking. But still, they if I do that, they sharp sight save Lulu. Um, but then they have to attack with Lulu. That means I can block with Starless here. Okay, let's go. This would be a good winter. Let's go with this. Alright, draw, draw some flash bombs. There we go. Only one. So yeah, that didn't work out very well for me. It did not. If I would have just cast the thermogenic beam right away, they still would have they still would have ate my Teemo or my Caitlyn. Um and things would not have been much better for me, but we would have been able to basically keep those other two cards in hand that I kind of wasted. Take eight. Troll chance saves two life. That's it. Have more rallies. All right, they're going to rally again. Traps. There we go. What oh, is a pop cap there? Yeah. Oh dear. Wow. So they've drawn six cards since they've had these flash bombs that were in the top ten. So we know the next four cards have five flash bombs at least. Closing in on the mark. No backup needed. Hot on the trail. I want to play the Sting Officer as well. Try to get more traps over there. So they're manifesting a spell from the, your regions that cost three or less. That's probably really good with Demacia. Considering Demacia has really good spells that cost three or less. Sharp Sight, Single Combat. And you get to manifest, so you, you don't have to choose. It's not like a random one, so you don't just necessarily like get thrown Radiant Strike. So you should be drawing like basically all five of these flash bombs next round. Easy does it. Alright. 
take it. That's a lot of flash bombs over there. It really makes it so they don't want to play any other units. Or, never mind. Maybe they do. So I'm saying at least five flash bombs is my guess. Minimum five. There's two. There's three. All right, so it was five. And time for us to sit back and frostbite. I'm done right. Let me do it. Remember what I told you? Swing low, send him sky high. I'll make you proud. Whoa, dizzy. Tremendo! There they go. Fly away while you can. Three times over. Manners? Manners? Three times over. Turning yourself in? I'm a peddler, not a meddler. This would be a good winter. Of course, don't really expect this peddler to survive, but I'm hoping this survives here. I, which I guess I can't use another... If they use a couple of pump spells, I can't use another Brittle Steel there. So this plan wasn't very good. I should not have Frostbitten this Poppy. I should have just passed priority and kept that Flash Freeze in hand for if they double buff Lulu, I have the Flash Freeze. That was a bad plan by me. I was thinking I'd still have the Brittle Steel on the Lulu as backup, but we're not going to have as backup because, yeah, now with the Sharp Sights, that was a bad plan by me. But it looks like all's well that ends well. Yeah, they keep rallying. Keep on rallying. So they're going to buff up the Poppy. And then the po Poppy buffs the Lulu. Still get to frostbite that. They're out of mana. Get to block here. We just throw away two of these things. I've already used a whole lot of sharp sights. Oh right, every time Caitlyn's striking, it's doing that nexus damage. I forgot about that. So yeah, that, that's just game right there. Right, each time it, it was doing five nexus damage each time it, it struck. So there we go, that was Caitlyn Timo, a good 3-2 record, just ended up playing against two decks well-designed versus Hexcore Foundry. But I liked how this deck felt, and I liked being so low to the ground that we were, you know, we were using a lot of our cards, but then Foundry was given, giving them back. I like having all this kind of protection for Caitlyn, Timo, Starlet Seer, Sting Officer, Puffcat Peddler, right? Like, you need a lot of protection for all of those things, and so Brittle Steels, Elixir of Irons, they were coming in clutch. Same with the Troll Chance and the Three Sisters Flash Freeze. Like, that's what Freljord is here for, and I think they did a great job with the protection. Um, you know, it really went low to the ground. You know, I didn't have the, um, oh, what are they called? The six, the new six mana card that a lot of other people are playing, Karina. And I could see playing Karina, but it, it felt like whenever we got to that point of the game, we were doing pretty good anyway, but it was just difficult um, getting to that part of the game, but you know, it's a six mana card, but if you want to play Karina over some number of aloof travelers, go ahead. Um, you know, just go with the aloof travelers, get some more card drawn here, because that's what we need. We just need to need to keep drawing cards and filling up the hand. Um, but so yeah, I liked, I liked uh, you know, just how low to the ground this was. We just ended up playing against two decks that were really, really good against Foundry. We played against a Go Hard deck, which I guess, you know, against Go Hard, having them draw tons of cards and then be able to pack your bags, that's not a very good recipe for success for us. And the other deck that we played against was Fizz deck that had, which Fizz by itself is fine, right? Like, you know, we just, we do Frostbite and just, we have a lot of removal for the small things. Overall, that's pretty fine, but they just had the new five mana Bilgewater card that was really brutal. Fleet Admiral Shelley. This card, this was the card that they had that just, you know, just won won the game with them. With that, without that fleet, Admiral Shelley, I would have felt just fine about that matchup. But they had two copies of that, and that card was brutal. 
All right, but anyway, that's going to be it here for Caitlin Timo. Overall, I think I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. I liked this specific 40 card list. So if you've been looking at a whole lot of different people playing Caitlin Timos, I really recommend giving my version a shot here and try it out. Let me know in the comment section how do you like the deck. If there's anything you'd change about it, but uh, you know, feel free to let me know as well. But I was very happy with the card decisions here for this deck. All right, but that's going to be it here for Caitlin Timo. So as always. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.